Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Hi! Welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors! Today we're talking about big knives. And I was watching a video yesterday from Prepared Minds 101 and Chris was reviewing the Topps SXB which was a big knife 2.2 uh, pounds kind of looked like the the uh, tracker knife but, but he says it's totally different and he was showing how it chops and splits and stuff like that uh, and I, it, you know, it, I'm, it looked like a nice knife, but I'm sure it's way out of my price range. Um, looked like it's hundred hundred dollar plus knife, I'm sure. Uh, what I have here is I'm in the Philippines, and this is a what we would call a bolo. This is in a parang style. I watched a video a long time ago with Ray Mears in it, and. His knife was the same same exact shape, but his was real thin with the little rat tail tang in it. I had this one made full tang, and it's a not quite a quarter inch thick, but it weighs two pounds, and it's a good chopper, fantastic chopper. It's no good for like cutting weeds and stuff. It's just too heavy to wear you out. Has guava handles on it, and I put some fiber fix wrapped around it to tighten the handles up because they've been this is I've had this knife for 10 years now uh, I also have another knife here this is a, again a different style knife kind of a cleaver style knife but this is fantastic for bushcraft use for you know doing steaks and things like that I do most of my my splitting and stuff around the house with this uh, really turned out to be a nice knife uh, but the, I just wanted to mention about these these big knives is I'm a firm believer in them and this is made from a mismatching from a piece of spring steel. It's from a Mercedes Benz from Korea, a van, and it cost me, I think, about six dollars to have a a blacksmith here make the whole thing for me. And I've had tons and tons of use out of it. I have another one just like it, but with a thinner blade on it, which is my uh, favorite knife by far. But that's about all I've got to say for right now. We're going to go do some chopping and then do some splitting. All right, thanks for watching. Right here I have an entire $6 invested in this. This is custom made here in the Philippines. And let's give it a quick chop here. You want to be real aware where you're standing when you're using a knife like this. If you slip off or miss, your hand will really carry along. The knife will carry a long ways through. And I've... I, the only reason I know that is from experience. I've chopped my leg a couple times. So just a, a quick chop. This is only about an inch and a half branch. So it should take about maybe two or three chops to get through it. Okay. That's pretty simple. And then Here's a little bigger one here, just to give you an idea. I I like this type of knife over a hatchet, just because of the longer blade. It's much easier to hit things. Can you see this uh, branch right here? Yeah. Okay. And I'm not going to cut all the way through this, just to show you though that it does chop fairly well. But you have to be so careful. when you're swinging it because the knives are just so sharp. This is a really hard piece of wood here. So you can see it does a pretty fair job on it. Uh, I'm just a firm believer on the bolos over hatchets. Now again this is this is nothing compared to an axe. You know a two pound axe head or a three pound axe head on a full handle that's razor sharp will, you know, will cut through any kind of tree you want. 
But for any kind of camp chores <coughs> or heavy brush clearing and stuff, this is this is probably your best bet right here. Something like this, and you can even make this yourself very easily. All right, I'm back again. Just wanted to talk about camp uses for a big knife like this. Obviously, it's better for chopping wood. Uh, but it also works nice in the camp. When you're splitting wood, don't don't take your knife and try to go like that, like you might with a hatchet or something. Just just set your blade in first, and then grab your hand on there and split like that, or use your use your knife like that. I'm using pretty small wood here, so it's pretty easy. And then I usually just go across, put the two pieces together, go across again. And that'll that'll quarter them up real nice for you. A knife like this is also pretty good for putting a uh, putting a point on a on a tent stake or something like that. Work around something like that and make a nice little point. Works pretty good. I don't know if you can see, but everything here is real damp. Uh, we've had almost 10 inches of rain in the last three days here. I'm in the Philippines, so it's uh, pretty wet. But for splitting wood, a knife like this is pretty, pretty handy. Again, I always try to have like a weird one like that. I'd always try to square the end up a little bit on it. Before you split with it. I've been using these knives here for 12 years now. And I'm, I'm sold on them. I, I have two hatchets in the house and I don't use them at all anymore. But I do all my all my bushcraft stuff basically with, with these big knives. I, like this this knife or I have another style that looks more like a almost like a cleaver that also works real nice for uh, small carving tasks, stuff like that. Um, but again, this is just a piece of spring steel from a, a van. And it was heated up, uh, cut out, ground down, uh, heated back up again, glowing hot. They Here they quench just, just the blade, uh, the edge of the blade, to harden that and they leave the back soft. And they put on, went out and cut a, a branch off of a guava tree and they made two scales for it and put it on with some just regular nut, a nut and a bolt and then beat those down so they won't come loose. But after a while the, they came loose so I put a, a wrap of uh, fiber fix on it which really seems to work nice. It gives you a little bit of a grip to it but it's still fairly smooth and it's holding the knife handle together absolutely perfect. So I don't think I'll have to replace the handle for a long time. So it's pretty nice. Um, I guess that's about all I have for you right now. Thanks for watching.